We are here with Dave from VHQ Hex. He's got some cool add-ons for his wonderful Hex Beam. So let's see what he's got today. This is something that was people asked for. They've been asking for it since I started the antenna. I was skeptical about doing it in the beginning, but um, I did do a prototype for a guy a year ago, and he had it in beta testing for a year, and it worked absolutely amazing. So. Um, my main concern was adding the extra uh, weight and wind load to the top of this thing, but mm -hmm. it, it's really indestructible. I mean, you cannot break this. You could put a car on top of this and it's not <laughs> going to break. So, so what does this thing do for us? I decided to go into production with this. So basically what it is, it's an add-on piece so that you can put it, uh, have two separate ones. This is for a, a two meter 440 stick and then I also have a larger one that's for a two meter 440 Yagi. Okay. And um, so it's basically just an add-on piece. You can add it to any existing antenna. And I've got kind of like a couple of models there that oh, okay. show, you know, what they're like in the air. So the reason I have two is the Yagi needed to be a little longer and a bigger a diameter to get the uh -huh. elements above the top plane of yeah, the yeah, antenna. Yeah. So um, I just released these this past month, and the response for them has been phenomenal. Yeah. Everybody sees that they want one. I mean, it's it pretty slick a having a beam on top of your beam, too. Well, I got a guy, <laughs> had a guy in here yesterday that has a, a Cuba Quad 6. Uh, six meter that's nine feet long and weighs 10 pounds. Uh -huh. I'm gonna make him a custom rod to put that up there. Yeah. It, it, the, the mast will take anything, really. And it yeah. only adds like a couple of, you know, uh, 2.6 uh, square feet, basically, okay. to it. But, um, you know, I just keep moving. People ask for things, and if it's doable, I'll do it. Just trying to set myself apart from other people. Yeah. I mean, no, nobody else could put something on top of their hex beam. Well, yeah, they're so flimsy. I, well, they basically <laughs> have a hard enough time holding themselves up. This is this is big. brand X. Look how thin the walls are. No, you couldn't do it. Right? <laughs> and then you get pop, pop that out. Let's see how thick those are. Well. <clears throat> Yeah. Look how thick this metal is on the VHQ. Well, that's a 15,000 pound breaking strength. Yeah. Solid <laughs> fiberglass dowel, too. So. Yeah. So it definitely, it will take it. My main concerns were interaction and all of that stuff. Yeah. And we've tested it all out. There's no interaction. So throwing a beam or a, a two meter antenna up there doesn't change the tuning no, at all? No, nothing. So that's perfect. You, know, you need a separate coax, but. Uh, sure. But yeah, so we're moving along, trying to make improvements whatever way we can to an already great product, which yeah. um, stands out on its own already. But um, yeah. so they're available now, and um, that's basically it for the day. Oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about before that I missed in one of the previous videos is the, okay. the importance of these standoffs. Oh, yeah. So this is critical, and it's well documented, and it's from the inventor of the M over uh, U antenna G3TQ uh, XQ, uh -huh. that if you have your coax touching this, you have a compromised antenna. Okay. Because it, <clears throat> through capacitance, it generates common mode current, which skews your pattern on transmission. Okay. And you have a, a lot of noise coming in. So with the ferrites will help with that, but uh -huh. you do not have the coax stood off from the center mount. Yeah. You're not you don't have an optimized antenna. So this this is a one of the big reasons why we have the best gain and the quietest hex beam mm -hmm. because we stand this off and um, it's very important. If you have a hex beam and we're the only ones doing this, the only manufacturer doing this and um, it, it's really one thing that's being neglected that it's extremely important to yeah. optimize your antenna. Well, you take care of the details, so <laughs> that's we that's try. why you're the best. We try. Right on, man. Well, thanks for taking the time to share with us. Yeah, Appreciate well, it. Thank you. We'll see you.